All right, if you do any kind of mobile development in Unity, you know what a pain it can be sometimes to figure out the various aspect ratios and you know preview sizes by pixels, those kind of things for your mobile apps, right? You know, you've got this free aspect, you can set these aspects. I got a couple here I've created, like the iPhone X, for example, but it's a pain to manage these. So I'm gonna show you how to use the preview package, how to install and use the preview package for a device simulator, which I found recently and just think is fantastic. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to the window menu and you're gonna choose package manager. And I'll just bring it down here so you can see it. Now what you need to do to make sure that you can see it, because at the moment at this recording, I'm using version 2019.4.7, I believe it is. Uh, it's the LTS version. This is still a preview package. So you're gonna have to go in and click where it says Unity Registry here, and that's fine. Sometimes what you're gonna see is it might say built-in packages, things like that, but you want it to be on Unity Registry, so you see the list. Then you're gonna click on Advanced, and you're gonna say Show Preview Packages. Now, it may give you a warning that these are preview packages not supported in production. It's your choice if you wanna use them or not. Since this is just a simulator in the IDE uh, development environment itself, I'm okay with that. Now, once I've done that, I'm going to look for device simulator. You see it right here. And I'm going to click down here and go install. It's going to take a second to pull in all the assets and everything else that's needed. All right, that's done. We're going to close that. And then if you go up here and now if you look at your game window, you'll see you've got this drop down. And when you click on it, it'll say game or simulator. Now, when I choose simulator, it's going to switch to the preview of a device. You can see it's defaulted to an iPad here. And this is uh, the way that I'm now using this to preview that I've got everything laid out correctly, UIs, everything else looks good on multiple devices. Because what you can do is you can click on this list here and look, you've got this pre-built list of all these devices, right? So let's say, for example, you want to check something on a Samsung Galaxy S10. Uh, let's do the S10 Plus. I can just click on it there. It's going to show me. Let's choose another one. Let's go up here and choose, say, the iPhone. Uh, let's do the 10s, right? So it's going to show it to me there. Uh, as you saw, it's also got tablets. You know, uh, I can also do the Pixel 4, for example. And you're not restricted to the ones that come with the package. You can still put in your own one here. As you can see, you can put the resolutions in. But something else that's nice about this as well is you can simulate, you know, things like uh, internet connected, not connected, um, you know, carrier networks, local networks, those kind of things. And you can simulate low memory as well. So this is just a fantastic way to really see it on the devices and get a better uh, feel for how they're gonna look on the various screens. So that's it, have fun with it.